Simplification, Part 1. Hi, I'm Daniel Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is Part 1 on Lecture and Simplification. Here's your first sum. Problem 1. The total monthly salary of 4 men and 2 women is Rs 46,000. If a woman earns Rs 500 more than a man, what is the monthly salary of a woman? Alright, now for your first sum they say that the salary of 4 men and 2 women together is Rs 46,000 and a woman earns 500 rupees more than a man. They've asked you to find the salary of the woman. So, now what you should do is, you take this statement and this statement and derive two equations. You solve the equations and then find the salary. So, let's denote men by M and women by W, right? So, now if you rewrite these equations, you will get 4 men plus 2 women is equal to 46,000 rupees. So, 4M plus 2W is equal to 46,000. This is equation 1. And from the second one, a woman earns 500 rupees more than a man, right? So, women is equal to man plus 500, right? So, she earns as much as man plus 500. So, it will be equation number 2. Now, what you do is, you simply substitute this in any of the equations. So, let's substitute W in the first equation. So, it will be 4M plus 2 into now the second equation says that w is equal to m plus 500 so 2 into m plus 500 is equal to 46000 right so you've got 4m plus 2m plus 1000 is equal to 46000 right now you will take 1000 on that side it gets subtracted 4m plus 2m is 6m is equal to 46000 minus 1000 so this is 45,000, right? So implies M is equal to 45,000 divided by 6. So 3 twos are, 3 ones are, 1s are, 5s are, 15,000, 2 ones are, 7,500. So M is equal to 7,500. Now this will be one of the options and some of you might mark it. But remember that they've asked you what is the salary of the woman. And the woman, they've told you, has earns 500 rupees more than the man. So the man earns 7,500. The woman earns man plus 500. So it's equal to 8,000 rupees. Let's go to problem number two. Problem two. A bonus of rupees 1,000 is to be divided among three people so that Rohit receives twice as much as Sachin, who receives one fifth as much as Gagan. How much money should Gagan receive? All right, now the second sum they say, that a bonus of rupees 1000 has to be divided amongst Rohit, Sachin and Gagan such that Rohit gets twice as much as Sachin and Sachin has got one fifth of what Gagan has got. So now what we'll do is we'll assign R to Rohit, S to Sachin and G to Gagan. So if you rewrite these equations, you will get Rohit is equal to twice as much as Sachin and Sachin is equal to one fifth of what Gagan is making, right? So you'll get them as R is equal to 2S and S is equal to G over 5, right? So now this is equation 1, this is equation 2. Now, the other third equation, which is the most obvious one, is that if you add up the money given to Rohit, Sachin and Gagan, you will get 1000 rupees. So that is your third equation. So 1000 is equal to R, Rohit, plus Sachin, plus Gagan. This is your third equation. Now, they've asked you to find what is the money given to Gagan. So what we'll do is, we'll substitute R in terms of G, and S in terms of G. Now, S we know is G by 5. So we've got S here. So we'll substitute S in R. So now R is equal to 2 into, what is S? S is G by 5. So G by 5. Or you can say 2 by 5 G. So now we'll substitute this in this equation and S we already have in terms of G. So we'll write it as 1000 is equal to, what is R? 2 by 5 G plus S is as g by 5 plus g is g itself. So if you take g common, you will get 2 by 5 plus 1 by 5 plus 1. Now 1 you can write it as 5 by 5 and simplify your whole LCM comedy. So what you do is you have 5 common, right? So you keep g outside still. You've got 5 outside now. 1, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 5, 8. So 8 by 5. So it implies 1000 is equal to g. 8 by 5. Now what you do is, you keep G on one side and take it and take 8 by 5 on the others. 
So you have 1000 into 5 over 8, right? So 2 4s are 2 500s, 2 2s are 2 250. Here you have 2 1s are 2 125. So it should be equal to 625 rupees. This is the amount that is given to Gagan. Problem 3. A man earns rupees 20 on the first day and spends rupees 15 on the next day. He again earns rupees 20 on the third day and spends rupees 15 on the fourth day. If he continues to save like this, how soon will he have rupees 60 in his hand? Alright, now the third sum is very interesting. You've got a very interesting man that does this. At the end of the first day, he earns 20 rupees. On the second day, he spends 15 rupees. So they ask you, how soon will he have 60 rupees in hand? The key word here being how soon. Now, the normal way to approach this, you would do is the first day he'll earn 20 rupees so plus 20 and second day he'll get minus 20 minus 15 right so you will say at the end of two days right e of end of two days he will get plus 5 rupees saving right correct now this is a known fact now you want to know at when will he get 60 rupees so how many times does he have to do this saving to get 60 rupees so you will say 12 times this has to be done. So this will be 60 rupees. And here, here also you need to multiply into 12. So 2 into 12, 24 days. Now, the problem with this is that this is completely wrong. Why this is wrong is because we have not accounted for the first day scenario. Now, the first day scenario says that he turns up to some job, right? And he has 0 rupees. But at the end of the first day, he directly jumps to 20 rupees. There's no 5 rupees saving, 10 rupees saving, nothing like that. He jumps directly from 0 rupees to 20 rupees. So you need to account for this as well at, after every 2 days. So what you'll do is, the way to solve the sum is that you will take the amount, the final amount, 60 rupees, and you will minus 20 rupees from this. Right? To account for the first day scenario. Where he directly gets plus 20 in his hand. So you will get 40 rupees. Now you need to solve this much with the previous method. So now, after every two days, right, it is plus 20 minus 15. So we get plus 5 rupees, right? So after every two days, he gets plus 5 rupees. So to get plus 40 rupees, how many days he has to do this? Right? 8 times. So here also 8. So 16 days, after 16 days, he will get 40 rupees. Then on the 17th day, he will earn 20. So 40 plus 20 directly will give you 60. So technically, at the end of the 17th day, he will have 60 rupees in his hand. So the answer is not 24 days, it is 17 days. So this was part 1 on lecture on simplification. If you found this video helpful, do like it, subscribe to my channel and tell your friends about it. I'd also appreciate it if you repost this on Facebook and help me reach out to as many students as possible. Thank you. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to get access to all my videos. I release new lectures every Thursday. Cheers!